very simple, easy layout here. Bend it, slide the swivel down, and kind of it closed. These frogs are absolutely ridiculous. Now that is a fish, people. Right there. Here's the release. Beautiful fish. Hey guys, it's Jayton Bassman here. Um, upon request of a viewer uh, named Tag Reject, um, he wanted to know um, what are going to be the best lures for the upcoming season. So, if you don't know, ICAST 2012, big thing, big deal. New lures introduced for 2013. Um, and some of them you can get right now on Tackle Warehouse or TackleWarehouse.com. Um, so all of these, I'm going to show you 10 lures that I think are going to be the best lures coming out for 2013 season. Um, and I think I have one hook in there, but the rest of them are lures um, and, uh, you know, soft plastic, stuff like that. So uh, we're going to get started. Um, if you got any questions on these, um, you can check them out at TackleWarehouse.com. Um, you can also ask me. Um, and uh, so here we go. So the first one is the Big Bite Baits Coontail Worm. Now I have fished with this worm. Um, I know how it acts. I know how it catches fish and it is amazing. Um, I'm putting this as number one. Um, the best uh, worm I've ever used if, like in a long time. Uh, shaky head on this on the shaky head is absolutely deadly. Um, bass go crazy over it. Um, they have different colors. They got, let's see, green pumpkin, um, but just basic colors. You got blue flag, green pumpkin, green pumpkin, blue swirl, Texas red, um, tilapia, watermelon red flake, watermelon magic, uh, watermelon ghost, and hematoma and June bug. Um, by far best one, green pumpkin. Um, I got like four bags of these things. Um, I stocked up because they're so good and I just love them. So um, that's our first one here. We got the Big Bite Baits Coontail Worm. Second one I got for you guys is a Gamagatsu Swivel Shot G Finesse Hook. Um, what this is, if you can see that, is a basically, you know, like a drop shot weight has a little line, a uh, spot where you pinch your line. Um, that's what this is. It's a, basically a swivel that has a hook on it. So instead of having a tie hook on and then worry about your leader and everything, all you gotta do is tie it onto the swivel at the top right there. Hook, make your own, make a leader that you want, the size you want, and tie the weight and snap the weight on. Snap the uh, hook on that, and then um, you just break it off. So you don't have to retie your hook. You can just it'll just break off there. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, this looks like it's gonna be really good. Um, it's a uh, 5.99 for a three pack. And then, yep, so that's I think all I got to show you on that. It comes in size one, two, and three. So that look forward, look for that. Um, get that, get your hands on that because that's going to be really good if you drop shot fish. Um, here we go. Next one, we got the KVD Sexy Dog. This is the smaller version. That's what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to actually purchase all of these baits um, eventually, but this is... Um, a top water bait it looks a lot like the head and spook except for the change right there on that little um that little cut in it's really gonna put off some action um they have all different colors here um she sexy shad being the most common sexy something chrome chartreuse sad chartreuse sexy blue back herring um but I'm gonna, i think i'm gonna go with black lab here or bone um that's gonna be like some of the best colors so um it's a two they have a two and a three treble um, it's a sexy dog and this is the sexy dog junior um, so that's that's going to be a great bait again that's by Strike King um, coming up with another one here if you're a jerk bait fan here's going to be a great jerk bait for you it's the KVD Strike King jerk bait um, it's, uh, you can get a 5 and a 4.5 inch or a 4.75 inch um, dives 4 to 7 feet and it is suspending and they have a whole bunch of colors in this um, this one looks actually pretty cool. This one's called Strobe Shad. It's got like a purple to it with a clear in the middle. Looks like it's going to be a great color. Um, there's 19 colors available on for this bait. So it's, uh, 929. Um, kind of on the high side for, um, trick bait, but it's a uh, striking. So what do you expect? Um, 
so yeah, that's a, another jerk bait that I really, 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 really look um, looking to get. Um, it's a uh, the Storm Twitch Twitch stick. I've heard a lot of good reviews on this bait, um, and they have a cool, cool colors. I am gonna go with the blue chrome orange. Um, it's a pretty, pretty sweet color. They have a three and a quarter inch and a four inch, and then the three and a quarter dives two to four feet, and the other one and the four inch dives three to five. Um, they have I think it looks like eight colors. Uh, sunfish looks like another good one too. Um, that's it's gonna be a good bait. So get your hands on one of them. Here's another one that I really like. Um, I've never used the Lake Fork Tackle Magic Shads. I've heard a lot about them. Um, I just never really got in to using them. I use the flukes a lot. But um, I'm going to start uh, Alabama rigging more. So I'm going to get some of these. It's the Lake Fork Boot Tail Live Magic Shad. Um, so it's the Ma Live Magic Shad, same thing, but a boot tail. Um, I saw a video on this, and it, it, it's pretty. it looks really good in the water. Um, here's This one's called... Uh, Sun perch. It's got like an orange in it. It looks pretty cool. And you got basic baby bass too. Um, all different kinds of colors. And they have a four. It's in a four and a half inch. Looks like it says. And you get a four pack for six bucks, which is not that bad, I guess. Um, another great bait if you like fish with like realistic looking lures. Um, this is what's. This is going to be a good bait for you. It's the um, Copper's Live Target Crappie crankbait um it's 13 dollars but it looks so realistic that looks like a real crappie um it's amazing uh, I'm, I'm really gonna look looking to get in one of these it is kind of on the expensive side though and i hate throwing expensive lures because i just feel like when i i'm gonna snag it and lose it and it's gonna be um bad um it's on pre-order as you can see it's expected to come in the late fall um so you could pre-order it on Tackle Warehouse. Um, I, it, there's three different colors, three different kinds of crappy colors here. Uh, you can see natural matte, metallic gloss, and yellow matte. Um, and they also have them in a, a, a lipless form. Um, so if you like, you want to use it ripless, a lipless. I'm sorry. So now we're looking at another another uh, jerk bait. I'm really gonna get into jerk baits this year, this upcoming season. Um, I've heard a lot of guys really do good on them, and um, I just really wanna you know try. I've never really tried jerk baiting a lot. Um, so this is here is the Rapala BX minnow. Now what BX stands for? It's like a, it's a balsa plastic mix that they're coming out with. So it's gonna give you the presentation and action and feel of the balsa lure. I don't know if anybody's used the balsa lure, but if you used one before, it feels totally different than some of the lures that you that the plastic lures. Um, so this one's got the toughness of a plastic lure, but the action and um, style of uh, a balsa wood lure basically. And there's a whole bunch of different colors uh, available. Um, seven and then um, I like the the silver here along with Ike's blue black blue blue back herring um, looks like it's gonna be a good color uh, I don't know what size this is let's see it's a four inch um, and it dives three to five feet so you're again you're working that depth um, most of these uh, jerk baits are about three anywhere from two to six feet um, and that's my kind of range because I'm fishing small ponds so I really want to get in that range um, and then soft plastic wise again here we go is a good I'm, I'm a big craw fisherman um, I love fishing craws and this looks like it's gonna be a good one it's the yum f2 mighty craw um, it's three and a three point two five inches and you get a 12 pack and again some of yum's great colors um, I like yum good brand I don't use them that much but I do like them um, it looks like they're trying to get that speed those those um, speed claws in there kind of um, it looks like it's going to be a, a pretty good crawfish. Um, I'm thinking more of swim jigging this um, instead of uh, as a trailer on a jig. I like the big flappy claws for a jig, and I like those twirly ones on the swim jig because that throw, this place is a lot, um, a, a lot of water. And this color here is called Big O Craw. This looks like it's going to be a really good bait. Um, oh. I lost my other one. Um, what I had here was a um, storm minnow. Let's see if I can pull it up. Um, if you all knew, so you can go down to you can go down to tackle warehouse and see all these. Um, they got some great stuff. Um, here we go. It's the storm rock and shad. Um, I'm a big lipless crank fan. 
um, and I really like them a lot and this looks like it's going to be a good bait as you can see like this fin it's kind of a fin shape so it's going to catch the water and really make that thing ride in the water really nice you get a lot of action a lot of vibration off of this um, I really like the Rapala um, clack and wrap and uh, or the Rapala um, what's it called I forget but it's a it's another it's a it's a really fast it might be down here hang on it was back here I, I like the Rapala um, rip and wrap that's another good good bait um, and if you didn't know Rapala and Storm are the same company so that's what you're kind of getting the same thing it's just different name um, so you get a two two and a half inch or a three inch and a half ounce or a three quarter ounce I'll probably go with the half um, I don't really like going any bigger than a half on a, a, a lipless but um, they again great colors chrome um, craw bluegill sunfish um, this sunfish one looks pretty cool kind of got a different take on it it's more of a um, bright colors so that's the tenth one. I'll go over them again. We got the coontail worm, the uh, G finesse hook, trap shot G finesse hook, the sexy dog, the uh, KVD jerk bait, the storm twitch stick, Lake Fork live uh, magic or boot tail, magic shad, um, the target, the live uh, copper live target crappie crankbait, the um, BX. The Rapala BX Minnow, the Yum F2 Mighty Craw, and the Storm Rock and Shad. So those are 10 um, lures and a hook um, that I think are really going to stand out for the 2013 season. And I'm probably most likely going to purchase all of these um, just because uh, I, I think they're going to work really good for my conditions. And again, that's fishing small ponds, retention ponds, uh, medium sized lakes. Um, smaller lakes so that's what i'm going to be using um that's what i want to pick up for my 2013 season tackle box again i have some other stuff i want to replenish but these are the main um 10 baits that i think are going to show and produce very well for the 2013 season so i hope you go out and buy these baits i hope you uh take some advice and check them out um again go to tacklewarehouse.com check them out for yourself check out the colors pick some up they got some great deals going on right now. Um, the 25 uh, lures of uh, winter or whatever it's called is going on right now. And um, let's see, yeah, the 25 days of savings. So uh, right now on that they have 54 to 62% off Strike King, uh, some swimming baits, and then 58% off of Closeout Shimano Kamara rods. And then tomorrow they're going to open another one, and it goes till Christmas Day. But the sale goes to the, till the 31st of 2012 of December. So go check them out. Um, pick up some new new tackle. Christmas is right around the corner. If you haven't given your parents the list, you don't know what you want to get your buddy, get them something cool. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. And as always, guys, be safe fishing and have fun.